guys welcome back to my channel today is a slightly different review in that i'm actually going to open some products that were sent to me for review and i'm going to open them on camera so it's going to be a surprise to me so obviously this is a nyx professional makeup unboxing if you like or nyx i'm not sure how you guys say it i do say nyx um this was very kindly sent to me by nyx australia um, with some new products that are going to be launched very soon. All the details I will pop below in the description bar, but I wanted to unbox this in front of you so that you sort of get my initial reactions. Now, this isn't a sponsored video. Yes, the products were sent to me for consideration and review, but they are not paying me to do a review. So any um, opinions on the products are my own and not paid for. Okay, guys, so let's get to unboxing. So I've actually just opened the padded bag and I'm just going to take out another padded bag. <laughs> so it's nicely wrapped and I'm just going to pull out each product one by one and just go through them. So the first product I have here is Above and Beyond Full Coverage Concealer. And it is in light pale, which will be perfect for me because I'm sort of a medium skin, but I like my concealer under my eyes to be slightly lighter. So it has a plastic um, film on the top of it. I'm just going to try and go through these quickly. Now that looks like a really nice colour. So that is a perfect colour for me. So I will let you know how I go with these products and I will um, do a blog post on the products later on. So that is again the full, uh, sorry, the above and beyond, but above, above and beyond full coverage concealer. Okay, so this next product is just gorgeous. It's a baked blush plus illuminator plus bronzer. Now, it did have this little plastic um, casing over it and it was sealed, which I love because I've been into Target so many times recently to get a product and I've found that people have opened them and tested them and I really don't know what's been tested and what hasn't. So the fact that these are sealed from now on is really good. I have actually spoken to... Um, the NYX ladies about this and they said upcoming products will be sealed so that's great now the packaging is really cute on this it's got a little bow and I'm just trying to there we go open that up so that is really pretty it's a really really pretty pink with a bit of shimmer and oh it's really lovely the, the it's it's um so that will look really nice it's very subtle and it's just sort of pink with a sort of a bit of a luminous sparkle so you could just use that as a highlight as I'm shearing it out, it would look a really, really pretty colour on the top of your cheeks for a highlight or if you wanted to do it more intensely as a blush. So I will actually probably use it as a highlight because I don't really wear pink blush, but it does look really pretty sheared out. So that's gorgeous. Again, I'll let you know how I go with that one. And if you want to know the colour, it is um, B, it says BBL01 Full On Femme. So that is just really pretty i'm really really impressed with that okay so i've got here a couple of brow pencils they are auto eyebrow pencil and i have got what have i got i've got darkest sorry dark brown and light brown so they have a little brush on one end and does that pull off i'm scared to do that okay that end pulls off so and then as you twist it up it's got the pencil on the end so that would be the dark brown and let's have a look at the light brown okay and that's the light brown so there's a nice difference in the color i will probably use the dark brown but they seem to go on really nicely they're nice and smooth so i will report back on my blog and let you know how i go with those Oh, and I'll try and pop prices below. Now, just so that you do know, um, if you're not aware, NYX products are available in many Target stores. I'm not sure whether it's Australia-wide as yet, but it's it's the bigger stores all stock the NYX products. If you find you go into a store and you can't find what you want, just hop online at target.com.au and they almost always have all the products Okay, another two pencils I've got here. The first one is a retractable lip liner and it's waterproof. That's great. So when I go on holiday, I will be taking this with me because it's a perfect colour for me. It says MPL02 and the colour is Nectar. 
so it's got a lovely thin nib to it let's have a look how that goes oh that's nice oh, it's actually really creamy and it just that's really surprising actually I was expecting that to be quite firm and quite solid but it's actually a really creamy so you could wear that all over your lips really 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 easily that's really pretty okie doke so I will let you know how I go with that I'll take that on holiday and give that a bit of a test run and we just have a uh, what is this waterproof black eyeliner so same deal just with an eyeliner pencil and I'll just do that on there now that's oh that's lovely that's really creamy as well that's just um, a really nice formula so I'll let you know how I get on with that one Okay, so I do have a few products I have bought myself, so I'm just going to throw them in as well, just in this part. I'll let you know again when I'm talking about products that have been given to me. So I got these the other day. Now, these are roll-on shimmers, so they're for eyeshadow, face, or body. Now, these are just absolutely gorgeous. I would use these as probably as an eyeshadow, so that's the first one. You really don't have to roll much, and it comes out and looks just spectacular. That is called Salmon. This one is called Nude, which is really lovely. That's really pretty, sort of a goldy colour. They're very glittery, so if you don't like glittery, you probably won't like these. But if you just wanted a bit of a shimmer on your body, they would look great as well. Maybe not the darker colours, but the lighter ones. This is Chestnut. And this last one is Almond. So they all have nutty names. All oh, these four do, as you can see, I'm a very, very, very neutral girl. I tend to stick to the same sorts of colours, but aren't they just gorgeous? They're really pigmented. They're, they're very, um, they are very glittery, but they're just beautiful. But you can blend them out quite nicely. Like you could quite happily wear that as a body, um, a bit of extra sparkle on your body. So they do sheer out really nicely when you blend them. So that's four that I bought myself. I also got online this jumbo lip pencil and it is in the color plush red 712 now this is gorgeous I love a bright red lip and this is I usually stick to matte I'm very very fussy with my lipsticks and I always pretty much always wear a red matte lip but this one's really pretty now it has a slight shimmer through it to it but look at the pigmentation in that it is so opaque and beautiful I haven't actually worn this yet I've only had it for a couple of days but that is sensational so I will let you know how I go with that that is a ooh, so is it a roll on I don't know how you sharpen that I think mm, I'll in, I'll investigate that I think I don't think you sharpen it but the end isn't twisting so mm, not sure what's going on with that one I'll find out and let you know could be just me being a bit daft another pencil that I've got is the same uh, same deal it's a jumbo eye pencil this time and it is in 608 cottage cheese now I'm pretty sure you're gonna have to sharpen these because this one doesn't twist either so it just looks really fancy around here like it's it's not something that you'd sharpen but I'm assuming that's what you have to do now that's like a really pearly beautiful pearly white color and I would use that as a highlight and it blends out really nicely as well so I would use that as a highlight on my eyes. Sorry guys, just wobbling the camera there. Okay, so I have here two Born to Glow liquid illuminators. The one on the left was sent to me, the one on the right I purchased. So I've got LI01 Sunbeam, which is the one they sent me, and LI02, which is Gleam. So let's just have a bit of a... I love highlighters. Oops, I to take the price. Sorry guys. The sticker off there, let's try again. Ooh, hopefully I haven't squirted that. Thank you, Doke. So that's the one they sent me, which is oozing out. So we'll just take a bit more and quickly put the lid on. <laughs> and take the sticker off this one. And let's have a look at this colour. I'll, I'll shear them out in a second. I just want to pop a bit on my hand. Oh, that's a pretty colour. I like that one. Okie doke. So the Sunbeam is this really pinky one which is really, 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 really strong coloured. I would only pop a tiny, tiny bit of this one on. This is more my colour, the sort of the more golden colour. And that is, I don't know whether you can see that, hopefully you can. That's much more my type of colour. That's a little bit too sort of more pink, more pinky for me, but it is beautiful. I just think you need the right skin tone and I don't think that would suit me as well as this more sort of goldy sort of coppery one, but they're just beautiful. They feel really nice and light too. Oops. 
Okay, so again with these products, the one on the left was sent to me, the one on the right I purchased online from Target. Now the one on the right is Sunkissed Radiant Finishing Powder, and that's more of a bronzer, so it's called Sunkissed 02RFP02. And this one here is a Radiant Finishing Powder, and it is Brighton. It's called RFP01 Brighton, so that's probably more your highlighting one, and this would be more your bronzing one. So I'll give both of those a go, and I will let you know how I go. Actually, this one is open, so let's have a look. So I would probably just swirl my finger around, and you get different combinations of colours there so pick the colours that you want so if you want more bronzing you stick to that side if you want a little bit more illumination sort of highlight you stick to that side there so they're really pretty I'm really looking forward to giving those a go I'll let you know how I go with them okay so I've got two face products here I've got the invincible fullest coverage foundation and I have been sent a light medium which is probably perfect for me so let's have a look oops I don't throw it away oh sorry guys I've got a, oh, good grief. <laughs> I've made a right mess there. Oh, well, at least we're going to get to cover my hand. I'm finding as I'm opening these, these tubes are fairly squeezy. So when you open them, don't press, don't put any pressure on, otherwise a lot comes out. Okay, so that's pretty, this is quite a heavy, as you can see, that's going to be a very full coverage foundation. As it says on the tube, fullest coverage foundation. So it is a very, very heavy coverage. But it, it would be the right colour for me. And obviously I put way too much on there. But it is um, feels okay. feels fine. I will give that a go and report back. And to go with it, I've got Set It, Don't Fret It Matte Finishing Powder. And again, I have the light medium. So it's all sealed up. I will just have... It just says here, this mineral powder is super delicate and finely milled the powder particles are extremely tiny so please keep the right side up at all times okie doke so i'm just going to get this label off and i'll come back okay i am not going to take the plastic off but as you can see that is kind of a lighter color so that would probably go really well over this foundation this is quite as I said before, this is quite a heavy foundation, so um, it's probably something I would wear more in the winter, but I will try this and let you know how I go, and I will try this powder over the top and give you my thoughts on that too. And there's just a few more items left. Okay, so the next product I have here is an eyeshadow, and I just wanted to show you the packaging, so it's got these cute little bows on, and I I think the packaging is really pretty with the uh, NYX products. So this one is called Lace and it is a fairly nice, I probably use this as a bit of a base. It's a very, very sort of light, taupey sort of nude shade. Really pretty. Seems really creamy. Seems really nice. And I actually just have, now where did I put it? I've got another eyeshadow palette that I will show you that I bought online and I've just misplaced it. I will find it and be back. Found it. Okay, so this is, I'm assuming this Love in Paris is a range that they do. So again, it's got the bow and it's uh, Madeleines and Macaroons. It's LIP02, the colour. So if I open it up, it's a really cute little neutral palette. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, six matte shades and three shimmery shades. And I'm going to take this away on holiday with me, I think, because... I, I'm not sure how good the colours will be. I'll give it a good run, but I think these, based on what I've used before from the NYX eyeshadows, I think these will be really quite nice. And it's just a really cute, handy little palette to have to travel with. It's not huge. You've got several different looks in there, and it's a really nice size just to pop in your handbag without being a bulky package to take away with you. So I shall let you know how I go with that one as well. Okay, so I also have two of the Glam Shadow Sticks. Now, these were sent to me as well. I have the colour Elegant Marble, which is GSS04. So if I roll that up, that's a sort of a, a beautiful... That's a lovely shade. Look at that. That's a, a really nice sort of coppery, beautiful shade. And let me see if it's uh, really creamy. That blends out really nicely. And the other one is called... Doo -doo -doo. Radiant Sapphire. Now it's blue and 
honestly I probably wouldn't wear this I'm gonna swatch it for you and I probably will give this to my sisters because I never wear blue but it is a really really pretty shade so I did want to show you that too and I believe these are from the newer ranges um, I will pop all the details below as I said before so that's the two colors this one will sheer out as well so they can be worn quite subtly Okay, so I saved the best till last, or in my opinion, the best. I love lip products more than any other products, and particularly matte products. So I've got three different ones here. I have a butter lipstick, and it is in the colour... Mm -mm. Fireball, there you go, which is BLS06. Now that is... Oh, that is gorgeous. So it's sort of a ready peachy colour and it is really oh it's like a coral that's just gorgeous so when it when it's actually on the skin it's a really corally colour so that will almost certainly be coming on holiday with me I love that absolutely gorgeous it's not too far off the packaging either so that's really really pretty I do like that this next one is what's this one called lip smacking fun colours these are called and it could be just me, but I can't see a name. On the bottom it says 599. But I can't actually see a colour name. I could be just a bit blind. If I find out... Oh no, there you go. Duh, see, I told you. <laughs> it's called Fire. Okie doke. So this will be another bright one. So again, this is a, a darker coral shade. It looks like a similar shade to the last one, but a darker one. And it's more of a sort of... A deep sort of rosy pink. Um, That is again gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And really creamy. So I will quite probably take that on holiday with me too. Now this last one will definitely be coming with me. Now this is one of the matte lipsticks from NYX and it is called Nude. So it is a really, really pretty lighter colour, colour um, sort of a salmony nude, I suppose. And ooh, do it here. Oh, that's just gorgeous. So there is a bit, of, bit more pink, but it is sort of, again, it's a corally sort of nude. Absolutely gorgeous. And it they all feel really creamy so I am a massive fan of the um, the NYX matte lip glosses I have pretty much every shade and I wear them religiously and they are by far the nicest ones I've worn and I have a lot of the other brands of the liquid lipsticks that they are making at the moment that are matte and NYX are by far my favorite and they're so affordable so I will just pop all the products in a big pile so you can have a bit of a look at them and okie doke as you can see that is an enormous amount of products now as I said a lot of this was sent to me but a lot I purchased myself I do I do purchase NYX products on a regular basis they are very very high quality I really like them they're really affordable Target always has sales, so you can always pick up, up a bargain. Like recently, they had a 30% off all of the NYX products. And like I said before, if you can't get them in store, you can get them online. For instance, this Sunkiss palette that I was desperate to get my hands on. I tried about three or four different Target stores and none of them had them. And then I was told, why don't you just get it online? So I did. And it was here with, I think, two days later it was here. So really really handy that the shipping is um i think it's around nine or ten dollars it's really cheap it's really quick and occasionally also target do do free shipping so keep an eye out for that so i hope this gives you a bit of a, a look at some of the new products that are coming in and i will link all the information that you need to know below if you've got any questions pop them in the comments box below for me and i'll get back to you I'll let you know how I go with everything. I will be also using these in my lifestyle series, my lifestyle overhaul that is coming up. I know I keep saying it's coming up. I've had a few issues going on. I'm about to go on holiday, so I'm rolling it out slowly. But these will be used in um, not necessarily tutorials, but I'll show you how I apply my makeup and what I like and what I don't like. And... I will have that coming up very soon. Um, if you like the videos, please give me a thumbs up, guys. And if you've got, like I said, if you've got any questions, just let me know and I'll get back to you. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do, because I've got some great uh, videos coming up and I will be having a few giveaways coming up soon too. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Bye.